<laughs> I want to do a Goodwill haul video. Animal Planet Dinosaur Bin. And I got this for $19.99. Um, if you've been looking at it on the Amazon, it is like 40 bucks plus shipping. If you live on eBay, it's about 30 to 35 dollars plus shipping. And I was looking at the comments, and someone said, "Why is this so expensive? You can get it from for 19.99 at Toys R Us." And I was like, "Really?" So I went on their website, and yeah, you can. Um, the walk-in price was 24.99, but because I had my phone, I could show. Um, the cashier was really nice and she just adjusted the price for me. Um, other places you might have to order online and then pick it up. But I like half off if you consider it compared to Amazon before shipping. Good deal. One of them woke up. I got this at Myers. Um, it is a solar system mobile. You can see here it has all the planets. And then they have little star labels. Um, I think I might, I don't think I'll use these. I think I'm just gonna label them with a marker. But it's just passed for it. like what you get from like the craft aisle at Walmart or Myers. It's just pressed wood. And then it came with its own paint, and I think it glow in the dark too. Uh, I ended up getting this for four. And then they took another 20% off. I don't know why. Maybe it was a craft item or something, but yay. <laughs> I got it for like four bucks. So that's gonna be great because we're doing space. Now I bought all the same day I bought the space thing. We did go to Google and I got a bunch of board games. I'm actually very surprised. Now this one's not technically a board game, but we got it for $3.99 and it is an alphabet house. Floor puzzle. As you can tell, it's in the floor of the house. They have these little people. They have the lowercase letters, and the house has the uppercase letters. Now, I'm not going to pull it all out, but I will show you the, the little people. So, it's a floor puzzle for math and problem solving skills, and then you get to match the lowercase, uppercase, and math uh, letters. Uh, my four year old found this really easy to do. They liked putting the puzzle together, and um, this would be great as for my younger children to learn. Cars. Next, so I got it piled up in four. Is about the duck, duck one, two, three, cranium game. I've never played um, the adult version of cranium, um, but I've heard, I've seen this in other homeschool videos. I got it for. Um, and they said there's uh, problem solving and I think thinking skills. Um, so I'm kind of excited because I've also got other things. So. Uh, this is more for my three year old. I don't know if she's going to play it by herself yet, but we have Monopoly Junior. I got for $3.99. This is the Princess Edition. Um, so. Instead of like a boardwalk, and you have the properties are Disney characters like Prince Eric, Flounder, Bang, Muzu. And then instead of houses, you have castles. They still have chance cards and money, um, but the player pieces are these little cardboard princesses. But I'm hoping we might today. Super stretchy ABC. Um, for what I assume, this is very similar to Twister. It has a the mat has a coin holder and you spin it 
and it tells you where to put your feet, your hands, your ear. <laughs> and I'm assuming if you fall down, um, you lose. I'm assuming it's very similar to the roll of twister. Um, but I'm very, but it says land on the alphabet or land on an object. Um, so we'll see, because like I said, I haven't pulled this out yet, but it's, I think it would be a really fun alphabet game. And they tried to open it, I think. Oh, and this game was $2.99 at Goodwill. And it was on clearance somewhere for four dollars. <laughs> but they do have a hat does have other games. Um there was uh a, it was called I Can Do That, I think, at Toys R Us that I saw that I'm actually going to look for other places. But this is my favorite, my favorite, um, you may not be anybody else's, but this is my favorite. I have never seen these before, um, these giant game builder books. Um, what's missing here is what I guess used to be an electronic dice roller. So I just went to Meyer, so to Meyer for Goodwill and bought uh, a pack of like five or six dice for like a dollar magnet. So we're going to use, we're just going to roll them so that they, they can learn how to read dice. And they've got, as you can see, they have different stories. There's about six board games in here total. And they go from your normal board game type layout to stuff that's a little bit more complicated. It's either like lose a turn, move ahead of space, move ahead two spaces, that kind of stuff. That was the Snow White one you just saw. This is the Aladdin. Uh, it's just Agrawal. But it's just the King Sound stuff. Move back to space, move up. It's a very just straightforward board game rules. This one, don't worry about I don't want to say it's a like clue. We're just supposed to collect objects, so I'll probably end up creating a printable for this one. Because two people play it, one over, one starts over here, one starts over here, and then you work your way down and to the middle. But they have objects in here. Let's see them. So here, there's like a candlestick somewhere. Right once you like, once I land on that, I pick up that object. You can't. If you land on that object, you can't pick it up. And whoever makes it to the end with the most objects wins. So I'll probably be creating a printer for that. And then there's 101 animations. It's the same thing. It has different colored paws, which mean different things. But um, for the most part, it's just move forward and move backwards, that kind of stuff. Beauty and the Beast is the same kind of concept, except it has these real color counters. Um, if you land on this, this little rose thing here, land on but I'm really excited. I got this for ninety nine. but there's not a price tag on it. I was like, I'm buying it, just tell me what you want for it. And she was just like, oh, don't even worry about it, nine on cents. And I was like, oh. and I actually had someone almost try to steal it out of my cart when I was trying to get it out of the store because they thought it was one of those big coloring books. I, I don't know, but they actually picked it up out of my cart. To, and then they were, I was like, it's a board game, you know, it's a game. And they're like, oh, and then they put it back. But it's like, really? <laughs> yeah. um, I did get other things I bought. One of my oldest in pants, and one of my youngest, so um, a bunch of one shirts for winter. Um, I'm almost done winter clothes shopping. And I also bought a bunch of books, but I've already got them put away. Um, 
Elves and the Shoemaker, a bunch of board books for the kids. I got a couple of readers um, for a photo. Uh, I might get those together and do another video. But I actually don't know how much they all cost. I spent about 60 something total with the clothes. Now I bought, I bought over 20 articles of clothing between pants and shirts. Uh, and it's just, they did have a deal that day where some things were like 49 cents, but I'm, I didn't keep track of what, how much anything costs. I just kind of said, this is what I'm buying and to deal with it from there. So thank you for joining me. See you next time.